Hey guys, Cleo aka Sari of Sari Got Game here in front of my uh, my fish tank and salamander tank that I'm so proud of. Um, so I have a question. Uh, you know, a week or two ago, Twitch came out with that whole, we understand that people are offended about having uh, people uh, exploit you know, sexually explicit, blah, 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 uh, with swimsuits or whatever. So basically they made a new category that's hot tubs and swimwear or something like that. And it's really interesting reading their post. Um, cause like I'm reading it right now and it says, uh, do, 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 do. Let's see, where is it? Blah, blah, blah. Much of the conversation we've seen has focused on people who are streaming this and similar content, including assumptions about their motivations and intentions. And we want to make a few things clear. First and foremost, no one deserves to be harassed for the content they choose to stream, how they look, or who they are. And we will take action against anyone who perpetrates this kind of toxicity on our service. Second, while we have guidelines about sexually suggestive content, their bolding right here is being found to be sexy by others is not against our rules and Twitch will not take enforcement action against women or anyone under our service for their perceived attractiveness. This is a very interesting situation because, well, as those of you who follow my, my other channel, Tapas Topics know, which uh, the whole point is, is to normalize the side of non-sexual female nipples so that we can have the same damn rights as men, um, which is a 10 plus year project of mine. And I recently have kind of given up on it and gone back to focusing on video games because guess what? It's getting worse, not better. <laughs> and I'm just tired of the stress. Um, Twitch has been interesting in that it's basically been the only mainstream platform that doesn't allow female nipples like any of them, but also theoretically bans male nipples. That is not the case on YouTube, Facebook, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All of them are fine with male nipples, but not female nipples. Twitch has been the only one that's like, oh, we don't allow any nipples, you know, regardless, regardless of whether algorithms think you have a dick or not. But with this new hot tub category, I haven't been able to find a definitive answer, but I already fucking know what it is. If they're saying you know, swimwear is appropriate or whatever, does that mean that guys don't have to wear a shirt when they're streaming in these hot tubs and stuff like that? We know the answer. Of course. Of course they don't have to. And it's just such a strange situation to me because I understand a lot of the corporations or whatever feel like, oh, if we allow, you know, female nipples, then next we're going to have people doing the sticking and the blah, 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 XXX rating. Um, to these corporations, there's literally no difference between a female nipple and the most raw dog porn you can imagine. It's just literally, you know, the slippery slope of, 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 I'm trying, <laughs> trying not to say words that are going to get this, uh, video in trouble, um, as the, as the YouTubers who actually get paid to make content joke, oh, I'm going to get demonetized. Yeah. I just like to not get banned in the first place. Um, it's just very frustrating that, you know. Now even Twitch uh, has has jumped that barrier to you get special privileges if you look like you have a dick. Um, and it's just, it's really funny to me, like reading the comments and everything like that when they first announced it, I haven't really looked at the comments since then, but you know, it was very, it, it, you expected to get all the men, boys, you know, basically jealous that they don't get views just for, for wearing a bikini top or whatever. So how dare anyone else? Um, and first of all, I will tell you from personal experience, wearing little or no clothing does not just make you famous overnight like these dude bros think it does. My purposes are not to be sexual. My purposes are, as I said, to normalize the sight of a woman who's not in a sexual situation being topless so that, again, maybe someday we can have the same rights as you penis havers. Um, and I do specifically say you penis havers because that's what it comes down to. It's actually not even. It actually doesn't literally, it literally doesn't matter. And here come my kids. Can you, can you be quiet for a second? What's up? What? When you get up, we want to fill it up with water for our plant outside and water it. Okay, fine. I don't know. Um, my child right there, by the way, uh, he's, he's male. So he, uh, he's allowed to go topless in places. He's five now, or he's about to be five. And you know, if I go to a beach or something, no, what are you doing? Link? use the kitchen or use the, the bathroom sink. There's a big cup in there. Use the big cup. 
Huh. So anyway, uh, you know, if we went to a pool or beach or whatever, of course he'd be allowed to go without a shirt. But if he was, if he looked female, if he looked like a girl, you know, he wouldn't be allowed. And he's five. Even if it was a girl, she wouldn't have, you know, any fatty tissue around the boob or whatever. And even if she did, who cares? Like the sexually. Ugh. So back to Twitch. I guess the reason I'm filming this is just to, to, to put that question out there, even though I already know the answer. Twitch. Do you still ban all nipples or do you give special rights to people who look male, who your algorithms look at and go, this is male. Like there's this, this TikTok person or whatever that one of my subscribers linked to me where it's a trans man and head up looks, you know, like a cis man, but shoulders down still has breasts. And it's just the, like a funny, silly video. They're just doing this dance. But so many of the comments, and I have to agree with a lot of them, are like, how is this still up? And that's what it comes down to. It's whether the algorithm thinks you look male or female. And again, people that follow me on Topless Topics have already heard me say this stuff a lot, but <laughs> why the f it's 2021 and we've made so much progress as far as, I mean, we have a long way to go, obviously, but we've, we are at least talking about racial inequality and, you know, love is love and LGBTQ, blah, blah, blah. And yet it's just, our culture is just like, yeah, female, female nipples are hardcore porn. Yeah. But I mean, male nipples are fine. You know, I, I, another revolution, I revolution revelation I had uh, the other day day is that female nipples are banned on all these websites, regardless of what the woman is doing. Again, personally, I can personally attest just sitting there, not touching anything, not moving or whatever, like talking about a video game I played or something like that, that gets banned even when I censor it already with a, with a mosaic and everything like that. And the kids are back. Okay. Um, so that gets banned regardless of what's going on. Um, male nipples, you could find countless examples of this online and on cable and everything like that. Male nipples can be sucked, poked, pinched, you know, cupped, blah, 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 blah. Somehow that's fine. It's, it's, it's almost always played for comedy, but somehow you can fucking do whatever the fuck you want to male nipples and that's allowed, but female nipples just exist and they're saying, what, 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 so since, as I mentioned, I've been just giving up on this whole free the nipple fight and, uh, and trying to go back to video games it's difficult to just kind of change lanes all of a sudden again, because for one thing, stuff like this happens with the whole, you know, changing the, the, the hot tub thing that aligns the two together. That makes it once again, you know, very difficult to, what? Okay. Makes it very difficult to keep the two separate. Um, you know, I am a lifelong gamer. I am... I, I hate gatekeeping, but if you had to, I would call myself a hardcore gamer. And I've seen a lot of the inside toxicity and, you know, I've, I've been there since day one with the whole, oh, you can't really like video games because you're a, you're a girl. You must just pretend to like games so guys will like you. I've never understood the thought process behind that and, you know, all that stuff. And I also have seen, you know, plenty of slut shaming and stuff like that. And, <sighs> fucking gamer game and all that. And, um, so it's really hard to, 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 it's really hard to be a feminist and be a gamer. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. And, you know, I'm glad that with, with more discussion about LGBTQ, queer, blah, blah. I just say queer because there's too many letters. I'm queer too. So, you know, I'm not, it's not a hate thing. It's a, there's too many damn letters. So queer rights, politics, etc. Um, it's good that, you know, more attention is being paid towards not being super, you know, whatever bigoted in your character design and stuff like that. The people that play the games are completely different. I mean, every time you have a game that even hints at a character being gay, of course, you're going to have a million trillion dude bros screaming about having SJW stuff forced down their throat as if 
having a character in a game that isn't exactly identifiable for them is quote unquote shoving it down their throat. But of course, you know, us non-straight white men, <laughs> cis men have had them shoved down our throat from the beginning, but video games aren't for us. They're for the straight white cis men, of course. We're all, we're the interlopers. <laughs> Fucking garbage. Um, yeah. So the kids keep interven- in- interrupting. So I'm just going to try to wrap this up. Uh, the main reason that I was thinking about this right now is that, uh, it's going to be 107 degrees this Saturday. Saturdays are the days that I stream. Um, it's my one like scheduling thing that I try really hard to keep with mostly because my husband is off on the weekends for now so he can watch the kids and then I, you know, go upstairs to my dead mom's room, which I've sort of turned into a study and stream up there. Um, but we live in Portland. It's not meant for hot weather, but you know, climate change, et cetera, et cetera. So it's really miserably hot in here, even without electronics being on. And so I'm looking at this hot tub thing and I'm like, fuck it. Maybe I will. Uh, we have this big plastic tub. It's not, it's not a hot tub and it's not really a pool, but you could use it as a temporary pool. Maybe I'll just go out there. Maybe I'll put on a bathing suit and go out there and that will be my, uh, you know, my life. I don't even know what I do. Like, <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm plenty good at just talking. That's what I do in most of my live streams anyways. I'll have a, a game running, but I'll just keep dying in the game. Cause literally I'm actually just talking to people. Um, but you know, then I can stream and um, not die of heat stroke, maybe, as <laughs> yes, I'm streaming. Um, or I could stream on Plexstorm again, which does... Well, no, see, I can't, because Plexstorm allows... They allow actual sex, although it can't be the same main focus. But these guys, if they invent invade the, the stream, um, I would get banned immediately. And I can't, you know fill up a tub and go swimming in it or whatever and not let my kids in there when it's 107 degrees. Anyway, point being that, uh, again, my main, my main, uh, gripe is just that Twitch has, of course, joined the, um, the army of female nipples are hardcore porn, male nipples are fine. And, um, it's disappointing. I would rather all nipples get banned or no nipples get banned. Not, you know, only, only women's, only people that are, that, that, that algorithms and the people throwing out the false flagging think look like women. Um, again, going back to trans people, uh, I've said this a lot of times in my, my topless topics videos, but at what point in someone's transition do they gain or lose the rights to, to not be censored topless? Like if a, if a, if a trans woman goes, you know, post a topless picture on Facebook and it doesn't get deleted. Is that Facebook saying, yeah, w- you still look like a man to us. Cause that sure sounds like that to me. <laughs> uh, and vice versa, of course. <sighs> yeah. So I don't know if you, um, if you also agree that it's bullshit and Twitch should either ban all nipples or no nipples, even in quote unquote hot tub and pool territory, I guess, uh, I guess you should, I don't, I fucking hate saying smash that like button, but you know, be, don't be quiet about it. Be, be loud about it. You know, tweet it out, Facebook it out, whatever. Use your voice. The fact that you're not banned right now, assuming you're not, uh, to be like, Hey Twitch, it'd be super cool if you would like not be sexist, transphobic, misogynistic, fucking assholes. That'd be great. If you could just, if you could just apply the same rules to, to everybody, regardless of what gender they look like, that would be trend setting for a while. <laughs> and just, you know, just nice, just nice. Just, it did, it'd be nice to not fucking give special rights to people who look like they have penises. That's the end. Oh, and if you're wondering, yes, I am shirtless right now, because again, it's uh, really fucking hot right now. So if seeing my bare shoulders offends you, you can go sit on a pine cone. All right. Bye.